Hey guys, Fitz here with another Fitztastic video, and today we're going to do, well, I am going to show you a tutorial on how I'm going to make my midis from now on. First, we need our MP3. See, here's our example. Second, we need to know what instruments are being used in this song. Let's just say we don't know what instruments are being used in this song. So, we go into a program like Hidden Mix. I'll explain more about this later. Um, I'll explain more about it now to be more precise. It basically tells you what instruments are in the song. It's amazing. Here, I'll show you. It's going to take a little bit. You just want to watch right here. It's going to take a little bit. Sorry for not making a video in a while. Uh, finals. That's what makes it hard. Especially freshmen. At high school. Makes it... Very hard for finals and midterms. Okay, so once this downloads, which it's trying to do, well, first let me explain what the hell it's doing. It's ripping the MP3. Think of like a uh, real player. I don't have it on my computer, but like it rips MP4s and all that stuff, and it rips MP3s. If you have it, you know what I'm talking about. This, in a sense, is not like real player. It's ripping the MP3 apart in a certain way. It's ripping it into. It's ripping it and telling you what instruments are in the song. Basically separating each individual instrument. It does this. Ah, here it is. Okay, you see? Right here is the saxophone. As you can see right down there in the corner. Right here is the... What's it called? Distorted guitar. Right here, voice... Wow, what I consider his voice. There's unset, guitar. Yeah, let me just play it for you. Okay, this is the voice, that's the guitar. This, there's a flute in here. It just doesn't think there's a flute in here. Okay, now that we know what instruments there are, we're gonna go into IntelliScore. I know, complete waste of time just going into that. It's just showing you, this is also a demo version. This one is going to lower the amount of stuff, lower the amount of time on the song. Okay, we put our MP3 in. It's not going to be that long. Okay. Yes, we do know what the instruments are in the song. Yes, we want to make it multiple. Wait, let me go back a bit. If you only have one instrument in the song, click on single. But, like, if you have more instruments in your song... Click multiple. You'll be glad you did. Otherwise, it'll sound like crap, like mine. 
my own songs. Now, what we want to do is click. We want to keep it on mix. We want to make sure we go into here. No, no, not here. Sorry. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is click on this. No, not on that folder. Sorry, wrong folder. We want to click on. No, not on that folder. Not on the folder. The globe. And then it's going to appear up with this screen. Now, this is in Telescore. Let me explain what you have to do here. Now, we go back to Hidden Mix. We read through this. Okay, what is in this song? Okay. How do we go back? Okay, what is all in here? We have a violin. Okay, we need to go. Okay, we want to X you out. You're not important. Okay, we have that. The piano. We have. Okay, it's going to make a weird sound. Like when I change it to something now. We want to check what guitars it has. It has a normal guitar made of nylon. That's. See? Sound. Okay. Now. We want to. Like, if you want to turn off one of them that you put on, you click mute. But we. But for this case, I'm not turning it on mute because I want all instruments to be heard. Okay, we want a distorted guitar this time. Yeah, this is going to take a while. It's so hard to search for this. Even if it's a demo version. Don't have enough money to get the, um, well, I have it. I have enough money, I might have enough money to get it, but I'm not, I don't want to risk that. Hate it when it does that. It's so annoying. Uh, saxophone. Now, what saxophone will that be? Because there's many different types of saxophones. I would say it's the normal sax. Okay, let's get the violin in there. Every single time. Gosh. Okay, now we have one more left to get. Well, drums and percussion, but we can worry about that later. We're trying to get the saxophone. Where is it? Okay, we got the saxophone, we got the violin, we just need the drums. Hmm, I would say simp drum. Okay, should we apply it now? Because I think we got everything. Okay, we're going to click apply. Then we're going to go OK. And then we're going to click apply again. Now, I don't know what that does. Oh, right, it opens that. Which I got with this. Okay, I don't want to touch that just yet. Now, we want to push OK. What does that do? Oh yeah, that means we did that. OK. Now, you want to click Finish. Now, wait, we're not done yet. If you think we're done, no, 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 we're not done.
we need to pick where it's going to open in. So we want to open the MIDI in Anvil Studio. Let's see how this plays. Yeah, this lags a tiny bit. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's open it. Yeah, let's save changes on this. Okay, now we got an actual MIDI, correct? Let's check. No, we don't want to save it as an IPR. No, no, no. End program. Okay. Now, what we're going to do next is try it in our MIDI, whatever thingy. I don't know, but you know what I mean. No, you don't. Uh, I mean MIDI. Ah, here it is. A little damn MIDI. Now, we got our MIDI right here. Now, what we want to open it in is not Anvil Studio. Let's go to more apps. Let's find another app on this PC. Sorry, guys, this is taking a long time. Let's go into desktop, piano from above, click open. Oh, right, I could There we go. Now, here's how it looks. Now please note, this is only a demo, because listen to the mp3. Oh, and one more thing. One more thing. If you want the full version of IntelliScore or Hidden Mix, you need money. This, like $200. This, I have no flipping clue. Anyways, that's all, guys, and see you guys next time. <sighs> that was a mouthful. See you guys. Bye-bye.